A very good afternoon everybody out there willing to take on board a bit of a movement snack. A minimum movement snack. <laughs> right, welcome to what will be the 4pm. Oh that worked, didn't it? Not. Hang on, is it going to work this time? That's better. I am now symmetricalised. Um, afternoon, welcome, 4pm, coming up. Hold tight for the next three minutes. This is the preamble, uh, where we gather some momentum, build ourselves up to the 4pm countdown, gather some movement snackers as well to come along with us on the live, and hopefully from this preamble, um, encourage some people who might have just pressed start on a catcher up and um, we can uh, kind of in, entice them into coming on board. Hold tight Ken, we are on a mission for, of the movement type description. Are you ready? Buckle yourself in if you're in seated, if you're standing just hold on to something. Afternoon Mrs P, afternoon Red Rita, Ken's in as we know, Vivian has just clocked in as well. Afternoon Sue, good to have you on board as well. Are you ready for your sway and stretch? This is um, part of your daily dose. The daily dose comes in three manageable movement snacks. Um, just like a little bit of medicine that you might need to take. Um, so the 8am, there's your time there. 8am timing, 12 noon timing, 4pm, last dose of the day. Afternoon Paul as well, in with Vivian. What a team. Uh, it's 58, I've got myself a new pie trod or tripod. Because this one has had its day. As you can see, there's a bit of a missing bit there. There's a broken bit here, there's a super glued bit in there and it's all gone a little bit wibbly. So I've treated myself to a new tripod and it is the fandangle of a tripod. I can't show you it because you're actually on it at the moment. Afternoon Maya. Yes, Red Rita, well spotted. Um, yeah, that's a, a new... A new thing that I've spotted now as well alongside yourself. We still got sky at four o'clock. We don't normally have sky to be seen or sunsets to be seen at four o'clock, do we? It's normally pitch black. Um, it's a little bit cold as well. Minus five this morning. I had a video appointment, so I went out in my um, Tom's shoes, so no socks and shorts. I was de-icing the car with, with no socks, but my shoes on and in a pair of shorts. It wasn't the best wardrobe to be wearing at minus five in the morning. Um, but I soon, we soon got, got back into the stuff. And I've got this lovely house coat thingy. Oh, so it just it's just baggy and big enough to go over your jumper. Got willow slippers. Love those. I think you're going to like those too, Red Rita. So it's kind of um, pyjamas, pyjama day wear. Right, it's 4pm. I think I've said hello to everyone. Uh, sorry, I'm looking over there because Rommel's having a little scatter round. Okay, so here we are. 3, 2, 1. Good morning. No, backtrack. 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1. Good afternoon, everybody. It's 4pm, it's time for our sway and stretch routine. Few options, seated and standing, um, for you to take as you see fit for yourself today. And talking of today, it is a Tuesday. It is the 17th of January 2023. LOO deal, you've just made it in time for the circ boost. Shall we? Set it up before you set it off. So, standing tall, external support to your right, external support to your left or somewhere in the middle and around you. Uh, use it as much or as little as you like, but try not to hunker and hunch over it. Try and lift and lengthen and keep that handheld support 
light rather than heavy. When you're there, in your good posture, uh, stop the foot pedals. Right, is the chair behind me? Yes, it is. From a seated position, depends where you are already in the chair, but we want to be as far forwards as we can. So you might need a few hip walks to hot yourself forwards. So you've got a bit of space between you and the back of the chair. From there, lift up tall with a little bit of assistance through holding your chair, but not none of this. We want to get that tension out and away from the shoulders, press them down, progress to leg marches, listen to the sound of your feet as it beats upon the ground, toes, heel, ball of the foot, heel, two sounds we're listening out for there and that will show you through looking and through listening that the ankles are moving, we've got no flat footedness in our leg march. Keep a rhythm going there, best you can. And then start to bring your arm swings into it. One arm can be working in at any one time with a little bit of a switch and a change. Or you can eventually bring both arms into the swing together. All limbs are moving. Rommel's having a little bit of a play whappy over there on his own. Oh, you might hear some scritching and scratching. Um, as, he, as a mess around. <sighs> Keep going. Breathing is getting a little bit heavier and deeper. Uh, your warmth should be building through the body. This is what we really need, isn't it? Some regular warm-ups throughout the day, especially on cold days. Right, take a rest there and steady yourself down. Settle your feet. <laughs> Relax the shoulders, lift up tall and huff out a couple of breaths. Right, our sway routine then. We didn't have arms to it yesterday. We're gonna bring some of those into it today. We just had a little bit of leg movement. I'm gonna show you without external support, but I might from time to time have my imaginary external support here in front of me, about hip height. So what we need to do is shift the weight onto what will be our weight bearing standing leg and just point the toe and draw a little bit of a circle round. Step onto that foot and shift the weight across. And then you can drag the toes in there and then draw round and you toe ball heel on that step across. Drag in, draw round, step across. Drag in, that's off the floor now, through that circular motion coming round to the front. Now, from your seated, a couple of things. You can keep the weight just evenly over your sit bones and just take the foot and draw it round in a circle. Straightening out the knee, round to the side, back to hip distance. Round it goes. That can feel um, a little bit achiness around the hip after you've done a few of those. So what you might want to break it up with is a little bit of this. Shifting, swaying, bum cheek to cheek. Just shifting the top half, feet are planted, a little bit wider so that we can still feel steady and grounded even though we're going kind of slightly out of base of support. All right, so that's what we've got so far. Just gonna move that out of the way. Here's where we can do our arms. So just the arms, forwards and round. So you're kind of mimicking, <coughs> copying, reflecting <coughs> what we're doing down at leg level. Nice and simple. It's kind of a, a table YP. Wax on, wax off, action. Palms are down, arms are long. You can see where my hands are starting is around hip level, bottom of your jumper. 
there we go with the arms let's put that together so as you do one arm you might want to hold on to the uh, external support with the other so are we ready think about standing leg taking the weight through forwards round and drag forwards round transfer the weight drag that second foot in so we're mirroring top half to bottom half and remembering to come back to your external support if you need it before going to the other side and the same in seating course mirroring copying kind of that top half and bottom half reflection of movement if you're swaying you've got a small pause just centering yourself before shifting the weight across to the other side and you might want to do a few of those now if you're standing as well you can do that look here similar to what we're doing seated with the legs a little bit wider apart and we've got our wax on kind of wax off movement there that should do nicely oh it's gold in here i'm going to go for another couple of minutes of circ boost if you'd like to join me so just pick it up where you left it off uh let's get some extra circulation boosting um due to the coldness of how i'm feeling you can follow me up as well you're lucky if you've got your radiators on and standing near your radiator or your or your wood burning and stove on or anything like that but if you haven't we're going to do a little bit of uh, extra circ boost to prep up warm rewarm for the stretch sequence right so um just maybe about 30 odd seconds longer in this swinging from the shoulders driving back the elbows if you want to you can make your movements just a little bit bigger higher on the knee lifts which will slow down the marching with the arms as well right that should do us all right couple of shoulder rolls just for good measure and and a crowbarda in action the next one up round open the chest hands round to the side of your bottom in your back pockets even or reaching back for the spindles at the back of your chair here's our chest stretch opening up widening the chest pinning the shoulders back stretching at the front area of your shoulders as well lengthened neck and as well the rest of your spine and about a 20 second hold there before relaxing <sighs> back down shall we do an upper side stretch now if you're in standing here go a little bit wider and uh, use your external support especially on that full reach hand to the shoulder other hand underneath cup the back of your arm lift it up open out all of this area underneath your arm your armpit we're reaching back this is a tricky position sometimes to get arms into um, and sustain them there whilst you do stuff like washing drying your hair as you're getting yourself into or out of certain items of clothing or maybe just organizing your collar or your jumper or your scarf behind you we often do that both arms together relax there come on out of it let's have a look at the other side and then we'll do a double reaching stretch together lifting up opening out the underneath of your arm you should be able to reach round to the side of your your body under your armpit as well as over the top pit as well 
extra little nudge there to increase the stretch. Head should feel comfortable in that position. If you find your chin on your chest, try and get that a gap to come between your chin and your chest. So your neck's in a bit more of an upright position. Relax there. Okay, full arm reach then. <clears throat> if you've got a start, slightly stiffer side, take the more mobile side to guide that arm and encourage it into a little bit more of a lifted position than it perhaps would achieve on its own. See how far you can pull your armpits up and away from the side of your body. See how straight your elbows can get. Come down, have a rest, and then go again. Oh, let's do this slightly different. Let's take both hands over to the shoulder. Let's try and lift the arms up Maybe just bring your hands together best you can and do the rest of that lift there. And we'll come back down to the shoulders as well. So let your elbows bend, both hands across to your shoulders and then relax down. Going through lots of different ranges of motion there up to the stretch point. Right, um, let's have a look at our seated calf stretch. Some of you might be in standing, some of you might prefer to go into standing for your calf stretch, but here's a sat down version. Long straight leg and if you're struggling to get a long straight leg, hip walk forwards a tiny bit further. Might not need to be that much, but just a smidge, you'll get your leg out, your knee out straight. Pulling the toes back. That's all we need here to put the calf into stretch. And in your standing position, split your stance, take up some external support, and that can be to the front of you or even to the side of you. Often when it's in front of us, we end up a little bit hunched over, at arms reached, reach away. But to the side, that might help you to improve and maintain your posture a tiny bit more. Front knee bent, back leg straight as usual. 20, 25, 30 seconds, pushing up to the, for a good hold time there, and that will lengthen out the muscles, increase, give you a chance to relax into the stretch, so perhaps you can increase the stretch a little bit more, and flexibilize a little bit more. Somebody like that, they're pressing the heart. I can see them traveling up the screen. Right, let's swap sides. Toes pulled back, sitting tall, in standing. You've got your stride. And to help with your balance when striding back here, if your legs are crisscrossed, it turns into a balance exercise. If you split your stance, toes are forwards, holding on to external support, then we've got a stretch position with no balance challenge in play. Relax there. Right, those of you who have just done a bit of stand or upper ring for the calf stretch, take a reverse, maybe even put a little hover in here as well. So every time you sit down, slowly does it, find your hover, Hold it for a few seconds, and maybe just relax it down. If you have just sat down, chances are you're a bit further back in your chair than you need to be. So hip walk forwards, straight leg, lifted posture. And here we go with a bit of a tilt forwards. Watch out for those shoulders. They might just oh, there, end up there. Lift. Rib cage pops away from your hips there. You've got a gap. Everything's got a bit more space in the middle than squashed in the middle. And we've got a stretch at the back of the knee and up. So stride length can improve through better flexibility. Your bending, reaching can improve or become more comfortable than before with a bit of extra 
flexibility at the back of the leg in both areas. Press a little bit deeper, a little bit further if you can, and then backtrack. So loose ankle, loose knee. Up you come, I'm just gonna have a bit of a hotch myself. Up you come, tilt forwards you go. Knee is straight, but comfortably straight. Stretch is coming right from the back of the knee, all the way up the back of your thigh. You might even find it's around your buttocks and uh, possibly into your lower back as well. Relax, recover, sit tall. Can get a bit uncomfortable on the edge of your bum there and the back of your thigh with the leaning forward. So just have a bit of a sit back. And there we go. How many minutes have we just done there? 17. There we have you. Right, let me sit down on the floor. You love stretches. I love stretches. I do, Red Rita. <laughs> there we go. There's a good round of uh, extra movement minutes for you. Um, Bob and I are going to a theatre theater tonight. We're watching something a little bit different. It's um, some, some professors who are talking about the recent research into mushroom psychedelics. An interesting topic, maybe. <laughs> we'll see when we get there. <laughs> um, have a great evening um, and rest of your day for you. Thanks for coming in on the 4pm. I'll be right with you tomorrow with the 12 noon and the 4pm. Uh, Bex will be with you at the 8 o'clock. See you later.